Could the air you're breathing right now be slowly poisoning you in many corners of the globe? This isn't just a hypothetical question, but a harsh reality. Today, we'll delve into the murky depths of the world's most polluted cities and shine a light on the innovative measures they're taking to fight back against pollution. Our first stop is New Delhi, India. Known for its rich culture and history, it's also infamous for its hazardous air quality. The government, recognizing the gravity of the situation, has initiated several measures. One such step is the implementation of the odd-even scheme, a strategy to limit the number of cars on the road. This simple yet effective plan has shown promising results, reducing the city's pollution levels noticeably. Innovative technologies also play a critical role in this battle. For example, in New Delhi, anti-smog guns are now a common sight. These devices spray fine droplets of water into the air, which bind with pollutants and help clear the air. Shifting focus to China, we find ourselves in Beijing, another city grappling with severe pollution. Here, the government has taken a multi-pronged approach. They're investing heavily in renewable energy, promoting electric vehicles, and enforcing strict emission standards. One standout technology in Beijing's fight against pollution is the smog-free tower. This giant air purifier, designed by Dutch artist Don Roosgaard, sucks in polluted air, cleans it at the nano level, and releases the fresh air back into the atmosphere. Heading over to the Americas, Mexico City was once dubbed the most polluted city in the world. But today, it's a different story. The government's comprehensive plan includes restricting car usage, expanding public transportation, and investing in green spaces. The city also boasts the world's first smog-eating hospital, a building covered in a photocatalytic coating that dissolves pollutants when it comes into contact with light. In each of these cities, we see a common theme, a government committed to combating pollution and the creative use of technology to do so. Whether it's the odd-even scheme in New Delhi, the smog-free tower in Beijing, or the smog-eating hospital in Mexico City, each measure serves as a testament to human ingenuity in the face of adversity. To summarize, the fight against pollution is a global effort. Governments are actively taking steps to reduce pollution in their cities, and technology is playing a significant role in these efforts. The battle is far from over, but with continued commitment and innovation, there's hope yet for cleaner, healthier cities. In the end, it's not just about cleaner air, it's about a healthier, more sustainable future for us all. So the next time you take a breath of fresh air, remember the battle that's being fought to keep it that way, because every breath matters.